Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Um, this is something that I've wanted to touch base on for a while and I keep forgetting. And so uh, somebody brought it up to me today and uh, I decided that I would I would tackle it again really quick. So um, I've tackled it before in group and, and things like that, but never in a video. So I wanted to do that real fast. Uh, zinc poisoning and denture adhesive. So I don't really like the paste, but a lot of different adhesives do contain zinc. Now, I wanna say that our bodies need zinc and copper to be balanced and, and different metals. So we are, you know, we are already exposed to them, but it's when they're used in excess that it becomes a risk. So if you know that you're using a tube of paste that includes zinc, on a weekly basis that that is probably too much. So it's it really comes down to people overcompensating for ill-fitting dentures. So if you are using too much of this paste just because your dentures don't fit right and that's what the only thing you can do to keep them in your mouth, it's really important to try to get that that assessed. Talk to your dental professional, uh, see what you can do to maybe get a hard reline or a soft reline or something so that you don't have to do, um, you know, a ton of paste to keep them in your mouth. Now, when it comes to zinc poisoning, it really, what it is, is having too much zinc that throws our bodies off balance. And that can cause, you know, numbness and tingling in your extremities, all different types of things. It's really important to make sure what levels are safe for you. So if you take a lot of medications, you need to talk to your doctor about it, really, because they'll tell you what is a safe dosage for you. Moderation is key. If you have proper fitting dentures, you probably don't need a lot, and you can alternate between your favorite one with zinc and one that is zinc-free that would put you in the safe level range depending on how much you use. It's really individual based on how much you're using. But if you're concerned about it, you can find a lot of different products out there that are zinc free that are just as good, very, very, you know, secure and they do a good job. So it, it is an option. If your dentures are fitting really bad and you need a ton of adhesive to get them to stay in, I feel for you. And uh, if, if it's not an option to go to your dental professional, then maybe switch and alternate between the ones that are zinc free or try the ones that are out there that are zinc free. There are a lot of options now. So it, they are out there. And uh, believe me, not one product is going to work for everybody. Not one product is not going to work for everybody. It just depends on what your personal preferences are. But they have come a long way in the developments, in the science, in all the testing and every the research and everything when it comes to zinc. So zinc is safe at moderate levels. It is not safe in excess levels. So again, if you're using a whole bunch of it, meaning like you know, a tube or two a week, that is too much. And you might want to think of the alternatives. If you're having numbness and tingling and, you know, just neurological issues, you might want to get it tested or stop using the zinc and see if that makes a difference. Um, because our bodies do level itself out. It, it does happen. But it really just depends on you, how much you're using and what's safe for your personal individual level. We all have different levels like iron and things like that. So not everything is going to be exactly perfect for another person. So what's safe for me to use is not going to be safe for my neighbor to use. So it's really important for you to know what's safe for you, going to your doctor, knowing those levels, and then asking what is safe for you. Again, just making sure that your dentures fit right. Uh, a lot of things can actually be uh, fixed with proper fitting dentures. Um, no one should have to live with dentures fitting very poorly or having to use zinc uh, products just because they don't fit right, things like that. There are a lot of things that can be fixed with proper fitting dentures. So no one should have to be at risk for zinc poisoning and if you are using it, it's okay in moderation. It's not going to hurt you. In some cases, people that are low on zinc, it'll actually help. It just depends on what's right for you.
So it's not only a, it's not a totally bad substance. It's just when it's used in excess that it becomes a problem. So check out all the different zinc-free options out there. I use Polygrip Super Powder and it is zinc-free and I love the stuff. But there are a lot of pastes out there that do include it. It will say on the packaging if it does include zinc or if it is zinc-free. You'll be able to check that out. Um, they've done a lot of studies. But definitely know what's safe for your range. Nobody can tell you except for your medical professionals what's right for you. And if you do um, overcompensate with it, you might want to think about, you know, finding an alternative, alternating, or talking to your dentist about redoing your dentures or finding what the culprit is on why you need so much. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys out. I tried to tackle a lot today, uh, but I hope you have a great day. And if anybody has questions, I'll be more than happy to post the links in the comments um, about all the research and studies about zinc.